Welcome to the 2022 Unity Beginners course. This is episode 13 and I will teach you ray casting in Unity. Ray casts are very useful for obtaining real-time data in games. The physics system is responsible for handling ray cast operations. We can use them to get physics and geometric data, which are useful for game logic and physics simulation. When a ray cast is requested, a virtual invisible ray will be shot at the requested direction from the position provided. A ray cast hit object will be returned if the ray hits a collider face. This object contains data including the distance from the ray origin, the global position and normal direction of the hit point, as well as references to the object that the ray has hit. If the ray does not hit anything, a no reference will be returned. To initiate a ray cast, we can use the physics.raycast method. We first have to pass two vector 3 values. There are the ray cast origin and a direction in global space. We then have to pass in a ray cast hit object. We can define this object directly inside a call statement. Make sure to add the out keyword in front of the ray cast hit parameter. Next, we can optionally pass a max distance value, which is equal to infinity by default. We may also optionally pass a layer mask value to filter out unwanted ray cast hits and a query trigger interaction to specify whether the ray hits trigger colliders. Objects with the ignore ray cast layer applied will be skipped by the raycast. We usually use the raycast method in the fixed update method, as it is a physics related operation. However, raycasts cost quite a lot of performance, so it is recommended to use alternative methods over raycasting whenever possible. A common use of raycasts is ground detection. A raycast shooting down is used to check the distance between the player and the ground, which is also equal to the altitude of the player. When the distance returned from the raycast hit object is smaller than a specific threshold, it indicates the player is touching the ground. This is basically how you obtain data using raycasts. This is episode 13 of the 2022 Unity Beginners course. I am Yellow Flicker and I will see you in the next episode. Stay tuned.